guys, Jay with Tuning the Right, and today I wanted to share with you some of our experience as to how to appropriately choose the right turbo size for your system. Now, as you may know, uh, we offer our turbochargers with two choices. One is the 3071R, and the other one is the Gary 2860 series. And, uh, you know, there is really not a bad choice or a wrong choice, but we have to understand that it's all a series of compromises, and I'd like to explain to you what they are. So first, let's take a look. Here we have one of each. We have a 3071 and a D28 series. Now, I'd like to ask you, take a look at these turbos. See if you can tell which one is the T3 and which one is the T2. That's the front. That's the rear. That's the side, and we can see the appropriate approximate comparison. Okay. And this is the flange. As you can tell, T2 flange, T2 flange. Interesting, huh? So which one is the 3071 and which one is the T28? Really hard to tell, right? Well, the reason is because the turbos are very similar in the You see, this is the 3071. But it's not just any T3 series turbo, okay? Any T3 series turbo wouldn't fit. The compressor houses are huge. It just, you have a very limited space, and it certainly would have too much lag. This is a T3 series turbo, but it comes with a T2 housing. You see? Now, the main differences that we have here in this T2 housing are going to be the size of the wheel and the size of the exit of the exhaust. 